In the fight to help healthcare providers diagnose, treat and monitor COVID-19 patients, one technology that has emerged as a critical tool is ultrasound. Here at Waratosa, Brian McKeithran heads up general imaging ultrasound for GE Healthcare. Brian. How are you? Oh, good. How yeah. are you doing, Mikey? Yeah, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. We'll keep our we'll keep our distance for obvious reasons, but um, I will say hi oh. through a uh, <laughs> very good a little a little toe tap. Yes. Um, so ultrasound. This is where it all happens. It is, man. This is one of the main manufacturing plants here at GE Ultrasound. Uh, we have research and development and manufacturing, and we make a variety of ultrasound equipment right now, and it's really coming in handy with this global battle we have in this fight for the coronavirus. So, what are you making? What are the products that you make? Here we make high-end radiology products, we make cardiology products, we make what's called point-of-care ultrasound products that are used in the emergency room in places like this, in ICU wards and so forth. We make a variety of women's health products and so forth. This is really where the center of the world is in terms of the production of ultrasound. Now some of the products you're making are really coming to the fore when it comes to diagnosis of mm -hmm. COVID-19. It is. Ultrasound is kind of like a superpower in the hands of a clinician. It allows them to walk around, see what's happening immediately in front of them, inside the patient. And in particular, for COVID-19, it really affects a number of areas of the body. We have to look at the lungs, which this machine does. We have to then look at the heart, because when the lungs go into failure, the heart starts stressing out. So we have to look at the heart. And then other parts of the body as well, things like DVTs that cause strokes are all what ultrasound can assess, and it's all what this equipment can do in the forefront on this battle. So you're ramping up production. Right. What have been the big obstacles to achieving that? There's been a variety. As you can imagine, the whole logistics chain, shipping of products around the world, bringing in parts from around the world, has been challenging these times. Flights are down, shipping lanes are down, and our suppliers are down. So ramping up that supply, and then the personnel to do the assembly and the test has been a real challenge, but we've got a great team. We're working on multiple fronts and we're making it happen. And people are working on the, sh on the shop floor. They're working 24 seven, uh, seven days a week. In many cases we have to. Yeah, to keep up with the demand, um, we've been able to have to go multiple shifts over the weekend and so forth. And that's all changed, I'm assuming, since COVID-19 in terms of the- It's the certainly up. stepped up the demand and, and we're stepping up to that challenge. And what happens when these products get to the other end? What's involved in actually getting them so medical staff can actually start using them to help people? Absolutely. Save their lives? So we have to install these with our service teams. Our service teams are working heroically around the world. They're these are the field engineers. Our field engineers, yeah. They're going into the hospitals, the emergency ICUs around the world. They're installing these, making sure they're properly set up and running, and they can train the operators to use them effectively. And you personally, mm -hmm. um, you've also been volunteering down at the Madison plant uh, outside of your day job to help with RH60 ventilator production. Yeah, I, there was a need. I, I live within an hour of our Madison plant where we make all the ventilators and um, they needed second shift support. Obviously, ventilators are a big deal right now. And I just felt the calling that I had to be there. I had to be part of it. I had to be part of history and, and enabling lives to be saved at this critical moment. The 24-7 nature of your job at the moment, uh, I appreciate you're gonna have lots of things, spinning mm -hmm. lots of plates, so uh, I'll let you crack on, but I'm um, really gonna talk good. to you. I'll say goodbye. Thank you, sir. And best of luck, take care. Bye-bye.